Hello and welcome back to the Blubber Plays, our Sudanese expedition series here in EU4, Rights of Man. So, at the moment we were waiting gradually, our colonies get closer and closer. We keep building up the love that the Ottomans have for us so that they'll never ever want to actually go from I maybe want your land to I will have your land. And for more and more of our land to embrace colonialism so that we can take this cheaper. It's still a little annoying that we haven't got any renaissance. How is Spain doing for renaissance? And they're finally starting to give it to me via Ceuta. <laughs> Spain's giving it to me. Um, <laughs> what else? So that one, because it was a center of trade. I should check the uh, regions here, shouldn't I? Oh, so I don't actually need the coast. Oh, I feel suddenly less stressed. Good, 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 good. Uh, so I can concentrate on making my surprisingly large colonial empire. And the question is, do I go make that my main trade city? I would have about 50. I think I might end up doing that. So let's see. 4.83. Chew! <coughs> oh, bless me. And then this one can become... Oh, when it realises, I'll make this one transfer trade here. 4.83, we've got to try and remember that. So instead of Sevilla... Oh! Okay. And what if we collect here? Yeah, so that's better for us for the moment. Cool. Stop trying to make me build boats. Gosh. Come on, game. It's interesting that the new provinces I make have colonialism. So strongly. How is Peru's little colony coming? Uh, not Peru. Brazil. It's getting there. Slowly. Most of their actual rate will come from this. The bonus. Like, if they only get this... If they get this, it's worth... How many months? Like, three months? And they get it approximately every four months? So, very nearly half of their... I mean, in a hand-wavy way. Half of their actual gain of settlers will be coming from the bonus settlers. Now I think we had a number of about 260. Yeah, it's come down a bit. I still don't need to hit that tech button quite yet. And until I do I might as well delay, try and save myself some ducats. Now, what month did this go away? Uh, 
thank you. That's better. Now I don't feel worried. Cool. Maybe I'll try cycling one of the other ones and see what I get instead. And if it gives me two of the naval missions, I'm just going to be so very disappointed. Come on, Gold Coast. One more. In fact, I should probably call the guy away and use him to start colonizing somewhere else. Is there anything super valuable in here? Yes, there's a 10. And that would bring him up to 10. Probably faster than this will. <clears throat> I would like the extra merchant. More merchant transfer bonuses into Sevilla will help. There goes Gold Coast. They're pushing to Sevilla anyway. Smush. Thank you. Now what I could do... Oh, this one's finished. So I should get my um, exploration fleet happening along here and try and colonize... somewhere up... Wow, that's a lot further around there than I thought. Is there a center of trade that I can reach? No. No. <clears throat> but in any case, doing that exploring sounds like a sensible idea. So we break off three. Tell them to come here. These guys return to protecting trade in Sevilla. Oh! They've focused on the same solution again, so let's correct them by forcing them to split up. On the plus side, this means that I can almost let them die soon and no longer be fighting that, um, I won't be fighting being too many leaders over the current leader limit. Now none of these are particularly useful. I don't know that I'm going to complete any more. Neither of those. And you might say, well finish it so you can get the policy. But that policy, it's a trap. It's a trap. 20 extra settlers and you're trading Diplo. Do you know what Diplo buys you? Diplo buys you more di Diplo tech. And you know what more Diplo tech gives you? More settlers. So would you rather have all the other bonuses associated with being at on time slash ahead of time slash like the extra buildings and so forth earlier and extra settlers or just extra settlers and nothing else? I think the answer is pretty obvious that you want the extra settlers and everything else as well. Might as well. Might as well. Now the question is, do we want a second one? Well, I've probably also gained some range down this way, based off this one. We'll see when this person gets back how many exploration missions there were. And also, if this one finishes, then I'm going to have range up there. Not that it matters too much. And now what I was going to say is I could consider trying to start building a Mexico. Probably this guy. 
Wow, he has a lot of ally. Slash minions. You've got all the bitches, don't you? I think I'll do it by colonizing though. Although not down here with the jungle penalty. Not unless there's something especially... No, there's not. Uh, I'll do it up here. Soon enough. Don't you worry. But first I want to get Brazil up to 10. So that I get an extra merchant. And I want to get this one also up to 10. The Ottomans maybe love me. No. Oh, their force limit keeps going up. You are a beast, Ottomans. A beast. What about our institutions? No, that's gone up. Keep spreading. I want this cost to come down. Oh, here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I can probably make do with just the one. They're not locked on the same solution again. Here we go. Colonize Maguania. I don't know where it is, but let's have a look. Maguania. Oh, well, I do want to do that. That's fine. I will lose mill. And this one can become Maguania. I'm happy going over the limit just for a little while. Here, so I should find something to do with my manpower. Shouldn't I? Hmm. You know what? Lots of this land is in Niger. Maybe I start fabricating over here. And I wouldn't mind that center of trade. Hello. Keep exploring the top of the list. I thought we just did the Baltic. Oh, I did the Baltic coast. Fair enough. Now, can that be improved further? I thought it could go up to 100. Can it not? No. They don't count as a vassal, slash personal union apparently. It can't go more than 100. Fair enough. Oh, and here we want to hop onto this province and then smush the natives. Smush, smush, smush. Thank you. Call that back. Finish off Havana. Pity we don't get a colonist from our national ideas. Now, what we were also considering was clicking this button. Although, now that we make so much more from trade, yeah, it's still probably a mostly okay idea. 
In any case, what we need to do is transport these guys down to here. So. Transports. Two more years we should be able to start doing all those raids again. Hello, I can probably go do the Caribbean Baltic, sorry, coast again because we explored slightly more Baltic. these guys gotten stuck? No, they haven't. Excellent. It must be even grander. I mean, I don't need this, so I'm not spending the ducats, but um, that's kind of cool. I like these options that are to do with the ruler traits. It makes the game a bit more flavorful. And I really have been liking the way the ruler traits seem to affect how they declare wars, go for allies, and so forth. It makes free stability. It seems to make a lot more variation in what the... how the game unfolds. No! Apparently I should have taken this earlier. Maybe I wait until next month because the price will suddenly go down. Uh, actually, we just need to get some more prestige, don't we? That's part of why the price has gone up. Uh, yoink. So once we start these wars, we'll probably be able to do it. That was more Baltic Coast. So it can now be, not hunt pirates, it can now be North Atlantic. So we go find the upper bits of Norway. Hello, pick them up, bring them over. That's still a ways away. I don't need the men. That's still a ways away. I can do this one though. So, this, then that. Solved. Uh, no, gain just a bit of diplo- no, no, your job is not to do that. Your job is now to walk here and then explore again. Whilst these guys are going to come join the war on Africa. No, you're done. Your exploring days are over, my friend. France wants Normandy. Yep, that's understandable. Explore. Go finish off Alaska. So pick up these guys. Actually, we'll pick them up on the way back. Yes, we will marry you. Prevents them from declaring war on us. 
<clears throat> oh, bonus settlers. I so want the bonus settlers. Uh, money for Diplo. Oh, oh we're still okay. <clears throat> Hop on the boats. Pick up the other ones. And thank you. Come across everyone across to Africa. Now, which one of these is more valuable? Why, it's that one. Umasi. Also, does that mean that Ashanti. Oh, I didn't notice when Ashanti started to exist. Oh well. And over here. I don't actually share. What I would have to do is be a little bit sneaky, colonize here temporarily, or permanently, but probably just temporarily, so that I can um, gain the ability to fabricate there. Woo. North Atlantic coast, go see the top of Greenland? Greenland, yes. <clears throat> but what do you know it's time to end the episode so thank you for joining me this has been the blobber with our sudanese expedition series i hope you've enjoyed watching and will join us again soon bye bye